Hi, it's Katrina. From a mysterious ancient murder to an entire house built from bones, here are 11 of the scariest and most bizarre archaeological discoveries. Number 11. Iron Age True Crime Story Archaeologists digging in preparation for construction of the scheduled UK Railway High Speed 2 was put to a minor halt when they uncovered a skeleton who appeared to be an ancient murder victim. No one is really sure what happened to this man, but it definitely seemed like he was the unfortunate victim of someone's heinous crime. When they dated his remains, they discovered that whatever happened occurred somewhere around 2,500 years ago during the Iron Age. Given the positioning of his skeleton, archaeologists suspect that his hands might have been bound prior to his death. The skeleton's hands were close together and locked underneath his pelvic bone, so they could have been wrapped to stay there. If this is correct, then this poor person may have been the result of an execution. He was also placed facing directly into the ground, meaning that whoever left him there didn't care very much about him. Now researchers are hard at work to find evidence of what really happened. At the site of his remains, archaeologists also uncovered some tiny pieces of pottery. Maybe these could be some sort of clue? They are also going to look at the skull to seek out evidence of blunt force trauma or for indications of stab wounds. But until they look closer into the matter, the jury is still out concerning this ancient true crime story. Number 10 the oldest beheading in the Americas. Researchers found the ancient remains of a young man they believe to be the first person in the Americas to be beheaded. He was found at the shelter site of Lapa do Santo in Brazil, and according to a new scientific study published in PLOS, he lost his head about 9,100 to 9,400 years ago. One of the members on the research team was able to determine that the man had been decapitated with his hands laying over each side of his face and fingers in an unusual position. This led the team to believe this had to be one of the earliest known examples of a ritual murder. The process of extracting the body parts from the victim seemed straight out of a Frankenstein movie. It seems that the man's head wasn't removed in one swipe. Instead, there is evidence of multiple blows from a sharp instrument, and since the skull was twisted and gnarled in places, it suggests that it wasn't an easy task getting it off the body. There were also cuts on the bones, implying the man's flesh had been removed prior to being buried, meaning decapitation probably wasn't the main cause of death. Chemical analysis of the man's teeth revealed that he had been a local to the area. Put that together with the other evidence, and researchers purported that the ritualistic behavior likely had something to do with how the community wanted to honor their dead and pay respects to their ancestors. Unfortunately, that's all we currently know about this ancient man and his life, but more may be to come. Number 9. Hybrid Monsters According to a recent report from the Daily Mail, archaeologists honored several hybrid animal remains from an extremely bizarre site that is now being called Duropolis, found near Dorset in the United Kingdom. The bodies of these strange hybrid beasts are shedding some much-needed light on the religious practices and beliefs of the ancient Celtic civilization. The remains were created about 2,000 years ago and buried inside pits underneath the houses of the Celts. Archaeologists were pretty surprised when they started finding buried animals that didn't exist. They were mysteriously put together using limbs and heads from various animals. For example, one such hybrid monster was a sheep with an extra head. Another was a cow with a horse's head. The co-director of the dig, a man named Miles Russell, said that placing these strange animal remains inside of pits was a kind of thank you note from the Celts, a way to show their appreciation for the animals that helped them live. So far, there have been about 122 of these peculiar animal burials found by archaeologists from the University of Bournemouth. Number 8. The Chamber of Secrets The Great Pyramid of Giza is an outstanding archaeological site, but its insides are a bit scarier than many people realize. For example, a robot has recently sent back the first images of a small and very secret chamber inside the heart of the Great Pyramid, which has not been seen by human eyes in at least 4,500 years. But believe it or not, this robot revealed a deeper and spookier mystery. It showed a door inside of the tiny chamber that could lead to yet another secret room, and scientists have no idea what kinds of ancient horrors are awaiting them within. But don't panic. According to Kate Spence, a knowledgeable Egyptologist from the University of Cambridge, the mysterious doorway is probably the end of the shaft with absolutely nothing behind it. 
However, this is not known for sure. The door could be symbolic. It could be a secret entranceway to a hidden chamber containing the true mystery of the pyramid, or it could be a storage closet with a few ancient brooms in it. Some conspiracy theorists even claim that behind this door at the very heart of the pyramid lies an entombed alien mummy. What do you think is behind this tiny door? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to join the Origins Explained family. Number 7. Wreckage of a U.S. Slave Ship Researchers have recently discovered the wreckage of the very last official slave ship from the United States at the bottom of the Mobile River in Alabama. The ship was called Clotilda, and this revelation is extremely significant for several reasons. One of which is that the Clotilda is one of the most well-documented slavery vessels in America, with a long history of savagery and inhuman practices. The ship was actually burned and sunk on purpose to hide the evidence of its journey in procuring slaves. The mission to find the ship was funded by the Alabama Historical Commission. Excavators ended up combing through a section of the Mobile River that had never been dredged thoroughly before, and among the multiple sunken ships, they found one that historians could confidently say matched the description of the Clotilda. They were little surprised to find that the remains of the ship were found in relatively good condition. Its last journey brought over 100 African children and young adults to Alabama just one year before the Civil War. Number 6. The House of Bones Archaeologists in Russia have recently made a chilling discovery. As reported by Live Science in 2020, they have found the bones of mammoths and other creatures from the Ice Age 20,000 years ago, used in the construction of a giant structure. This is the literal House of Bones, built from the remains of foxes, bears, mammoths, wolves, and every other Ice Age creature that you can think of. There were at least 60 different woolly mammoths used in the construction of the house. According to the lead researcher on the project, a lecturer of prehistoric archaeology named Alexander Pryor, the ancient people who built the structure used every last piece of mammoth, including the smallest vertebrae and the biggest skulls. Nobody is sure what the structure was made for. It could have been a huge house of bone lived in by a prominent member of society, or it could have been a horrifying place of ritual, perhaps just a storage facility for meat. Right now, experts are still looking into the situation. What do you think the House of Bones was for? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. Shackled Remains One of the more gruesome discoveries was a mass grave of 80 skeletons found in Athens, Greece. The bones had their wrists clamped in iron shackles, and according to archaeologists, this burial site was the result of a mass execution. Some of the skeletons were in a neat row, while others were twisted up and piled on top of each other. But archaeologists aren't sure exactly who they were or why they were buried with a semblance of respect. They were initially found at the Phaleron Delta Necropolis, located near the National Opera House. Head of Excavations Dr. Stella Chrysolaki said that each person was executed in the same style, that all the victims were young, and each was in relatively good health. Whatever happened appeared to be somewhat violent, as most had their arms bound above their heads with the wrists tied together. But the precise way that they had been buried suggests that these were more than slaves or common criminals. So the question here is why were they killed? One theory is that the 80 men were from a period of great social unrest, back between the 5th and 8th centuries BC. They may have been part of a mob who wished to stage a coup in 632 BC with the help of an Olympic champion, an Athenian noble named Cyclon and his father-in-law, a guy named the Tyrant of Megara. But clearly, the coup failed and all those who supported Cyclon and the Tyrant were killed. These 80 men could very well have been part of the coup. Number 4. World War II Sunken Craft In 1942, during a two-day battle at Santa Cruz Island, the USS Hornet, which had been a massive aircraft carrier complete with anti-aircraft guns and all the latest in weapons technology, was blown apart by Japanese bombs and sunk. The battle cost 11 sailors their lives, and at least 2,000 crew members were forced to abandon ship. The U.S. Navy tried to salvage some pieces of the aircraft carrier, but it proved difficult as it was smacked by four Japanese torpedoes. The ship was destroyed and it sank to the bottom of the ocean, where it stayed until just recently. According to ABC News, researchers have finally located the USS Hornet. They found it deep within the South Pacific Ocean, about 17,000 feet below the surface. Researchers on board the RV Petrel found the sunken ship's spooky remains using old information deck logs and action reports from both Japanese and American ships from the original battle. Those investigating the site managed to find and document the remains on their first dive. And even though it's not going to be brought up to the surface just yet, the Vice Chief of Naval Operations praised the discovery of the USS Hornet, saying that everyone can draw inspiration from the fighting spirit of such a ship. Number 3. 
Alien Skulls in Mexico Perhaps the most otherworldly archaeological discovery made was a collection of alien skulls located at an ancient graveyard in Mexico. This graveyard was originally found by residents in the small Mexican pueblo of Onavas back in 1999, while an irrigation canal was being built. Inside was a whole horde of deformed skulls that looked like they belonged to extraterrestrial creatures. Of course, scientists quickly determined that these skulls were not of an alien origin. They were human skulls deliberately modified into elongated shapes. One of the lead researchers from the Arizona State University said whoever had used the cemetery 1,000 years ago practiced cranial deformation as a way of distinguishing between social groups. The precise reason as to why people found in the cemetery had skulls like this is still unknown, but at least 25 of the burials had this type of deformation. 17 of them were children between 5 months old and 16 years old, and the archaeologists are saying that many of the youngsters likely died as a result of the cranial modification. Another odd observation was that only one of the 25 was female. Also, many of these skeletons were found wearing excessive jewelry, from nose rings to necklaces made of snails. One person was even buried with a giant turtle shell placed on their abdomen. But just like with the strange elongated skulls, archaeologists are still unsure why some people were buried with special artifacts and some were buried with none, especially since they were all found in the same place. Number 2. Entire Population Destroyed In the year 800 AD, a horrifying event of monstrous proportions occurred. It looks like an entire Native American population was destroyed. At Sacred Ridge, close to Durango in Colorado, about 14,800 human skeleton fragments, along with a collection of mutilated dogs and other dead animals, were found in pits. So far, it has turned into one of the largest remains of ancient bones ever collected. Based on archaeological evidence, including several axes which tested positive for traces of human blood, archaeologists are confident that the genocide happened because of a conflict between two different Anasazi Puebloan groups. One archaeologist with the Woods Canyon Archaeological Consultants told Discovery News that it was likely an inside job, when the residents of Sacred Ridge were wiped out from the oldest to the youngest as part of a complete social breakdown. Basically, it was a quick event that involved one community completely wiping out the other, then burying their bodies in pits. Number 1. The Screaming Mummy In 1881, a screaming mummy was discovered in Egypt. It was found at Deir el-Bahari and is believed to have once been a princess. The 3,000-year-old mummy was recently re-examined by a famous Egyptologist named Zahi Hawass. It was an attempt to find out if she was truly screaming at the time of her death, which could indicate that she was mummified while still alive. The reason she's called the screaming mummy is of course because her face is mummified in a perpetual expression of agony, with her mouth hanging open as if she screamed in fear in her final moments like in the movies. Was she really screaming at her time of death? Researchers already knew that the screaming mummy was in her 60s when she died. They also knew that she was mummified in the same position she probably died in. Using these facts, Hawass inspected the mummy and made the conclusion that her head likely tilted to the side after she died, and that by the time rigor mortis set in, she was already stuck with an eternal scream on her face. This has happened to other mummies as well, since that part of the face seems to decay and the jaw will fall open unless sealed shut by an expert embalmer. While it looks quite shocking, take comfort in knowing that she most likely died a more peaceful death. Thanks for watching! Which of these scary archaeological discoveries freaked you out the most? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. See you soon! Bye!